like all I've done this week is rant, and I'm kind of tired. I'm <laughs> Hello, my name is Damon, and if you're new to the channel, welcome, if you're not new to the channel, welcome back. If I sound like I'm tired of saying that, I'm really not. It's honestly a really nice intro for me, and I really like it. It's really nice. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is ranting about Ipsy glam bags, and if you don't know that, that's makeup. And um, I know usually on Wednesdays I don't talk about makeup, but this is very necessary to talk about because it's been happening for the last few months, and a lot of people have been complaining about this, not just me. I'm complaining about this because I'm not a whole famous YouTuber, you know, I'm not, I'm relatively small, I'm the smallest of the smallest, you know, like I'm very low in subscribers and low in view count, so I feel like. I am pretty much the advocate of people who don't have YouTube and the general, like, worker, like, the general middle class worker that does these glam bags because they want to, like, have makeup and learn more about makeup and just have, like, something to look forward to each month and just have something of, like, oh, this is something I haven't tried out. I'm glad I have this. Well, this is the issue. I did exactly this. A long time ago, I had an Ipsy Glam bag in um, like 2015 when I was starting college. My mom gave me the Ipsy Glam bag for two months and then we stopped it because I, she didn't have the money to pay for it continuously every single month and I understand that completely. I barely have money on my own now because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm human. But back then it was pretty good. I got a lot of makeup stuff and i'm very makeup oriented if before i even started this youtube i had so much makeup i still have so much makeup like it takes a lot of space and i wanted to get into makeup even more but i didn't want to continuously buy like at drugstores because some drugstores you can't try on the makeup so you don't know what you're trying or if you go to like sephora and stuff you would try samples but i didn't want to have like the usual all that makeup that's out there i wanted to try something different that wasn't like part of these huge makeup brands or huge makeup departments i wanted to try something different so that's why i went to back back to ipsy because i had a previously good experience and if you have a previously good experience you want to go back to have continuously good experiences here's the thing majority of the bags i have it's just skincare there is no makeup barely any makeup in any of my ipsy glam bags and that is the problem if my makeup profile says i want makeup i should receive it now i don't have nothing wrong with receiving skincare some products are fine nail polish i have nothing wrong with the hair stuff i have nothing wrong with it but if it's just majority that when i came here for makeup there's a problem. So on the side here, I'm going to put all of the receipts and stuff. I know today is not a makeup day. I'm talking about makeup and I said this earlier, but I just really want to talk about this. And I feel like today is the best day to do it, um, other than Saturday. I was going to do Saturday video of me trying on my Ipsy Glam Bag makeup that I received. I just received like one thing i'm gonna just look i have my computer here so i'm gonna look at the march one and i just received like four makeup oriented things this month but honestly it's very similar to every single month i received a foundation but it's because i picked the foundation if i wouldn't have picked it i wouldn't have received it and then I got a bronzer, which is the first time ever I got a bronzer from Ipsy, to be honest. And then I got two lip glosses, a lip balm and a lip gloss. I always receive lip glosses. I have nothing against lip glosses, but it's every month that I receive a lip gloss. This is too vary. I understand that you want to approach person with oh they like this let's continue but if it's every month that i receive a lip balm or a lip gloss i'm gonna have an issue because it's always the same 
it's always the same things and i want variation in my bags and that's on my profile variation and then i receive the night cream nothing against night creams but all i receive is skincare and i don't want to receive skincare as often but all you give me is skincare you understand the consistent problem here yeah so yeah, that's what happened, but we're not focusing on that. We're focusing more on the fact that I'm not receiving what I want in a glam bag. So for August, we received cream, a blush, a lip balm, an eyeshadow that's actually the only colorful eyeshadow I've received in these eight months of subscribing to the ipsy glam bag and it's purple which i want i want colorful eyeshadows and a nail polish which i have nothing against because i love nail polishes as you can tell with the amount of nails i've changed up in the period of me recording and then the september bag i received my first ever brush which i'm not gonna lie i love more than you would think a lip gloss the first ever lip gloss of many, a goldish eyeshadow of many nude eyeshadows that I barely received, a mascara, this is my first mascara and probably first of two, first of many skincare products, and an add-on that I added myself. Then, for October, which you would think they would do something more Halloween concept or Betty Boop content concept knowing that this is the Betty Boop collection I chose the Betty Boop products myself none of the products I receive has anything to do with Betty Boop I chose the Betty Boop lip gloss I chose a Betty Boop brush and a Betty Boop blush i would think they would have some samples of it just so you can know hey we did a collab with betty boop let me show you that right but no no so a second mascara of many hair care which i love this hair care product but it's empty i need to buy more body lotion of many lip gloss I chose, blush of many, and products I added myself. Here we go November. First eyeliner of only that one, the Balm Cosmetics highlighter of many three, but I barely got highlighters. That's the whole point. Skincare cheese and another skincare product a serum how many skincare products can i get an add-on which was a highlighter because i want highlighters right i want adventurous makeup which i did not receive my whole profile was ignored december another nude eyeshadow i didn't ask for colorful eyeshadows right that wasn't on my profile okay not not upset um lip gloss skincare another blush and a brush that i picked because i want that a for the january one i got a highlighter a nomads cosmetic eyeshadow so after the eyeshadow i received the a brush that they actually gave me and i didn't have to choose and then i received the lip gloss this one it's from context it's pretty good but i didn't really want a lip gloss but. and then i received a scrub which i i don't like scrubs at all at all I said least amount of skincare. Majority of the products I have is skincare. Every single month I get two 
or one products of skincare. I understand at least one, but two or three, majority of the bag is skincare when I say I want makeup. Like, I basically want a whole bunch of eyeshadows. Like, give me eyeshadows. I barely got eyeshadows because you barely gave me any. Um, February, it was this, which is deep conditioning uh, for hair. Then I got this lip gloss, which I was honestly like, I don't want it. I don't want lip gloss. I really didn't. And then an eyeshadow palette that I chose because I wanted eyeshadow. Then I got nail polish and then I got another body lotion, which I just gave it to my grandma I don't even have it because I don't want it. I keep on getting Body lotions and skincare. I'm getting tired of it and then this month and This month just got me really upset <laughs> Just got me upset because I got a lot of products that I didn't want. I only got two products that I really wanted I don't want that. Are they trying to tell me, like, do skincare? Like, is that what they're trying to tell me? I'm, like, stressed. They're stressing me out. Like, I feel like I'm looking for things to rant about at this point. I feel like I'm getting kind of crazy. Like, I feel like everyone's gaslighting me with, like, how much stress I'm feeling over everything that's going on. Generally, I'm going through a lot of stuff right now. Personally, I talked about a little bit of it with my previous video. And this is just like the icing, okay? Because I'm paying $12. Before it was $10, and then they made it $2 extra so you can pick whatever you want. But I thought if you're going to increase the amount, you were going to get better things. But you don't. You give exactly what you gave before the increase of price. So if I'm going to pay money, like actual money, I might as well go to a different subscription box that would give me what I want instead of what you're giving me, which is not what I want. And I keep on saying, and I keep on changing my profile, and I keep on saying what I don't like, and they still give it to me. And to a whole bunch of other people as well, not just me, just everyone else too. So it's an ongoing issue with everybody. And I hate that. Also, by the way, it took me forever to cancel this. Like, I tried, and it was in my junk mail, and I just, like, I... Like... Honestly, trying to cancel this doesn't work. And I have 725 points which I tried spending last month and it didn't go through. I thought I was going to receive something that I chose. Didn't receive it. It didn't go through. I don't know why. And now I can't use those points because I canceled my subscription and I don't want to get another subscription just because I want to use those points. So... Sad life here. On this channel yeah I'm sorry this is more of a ranting video I don't want to be a ranting channel but sometimes things happen so yeah I'll see you in the next one um, hopefully the next video is a little bit more lighthearted probably not because I'm going back to talking about controversial things I haven't done that in a few weeks so it's good to go back um, but yeah so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it Love you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!